came close to making his debut at the Crucible this year. Lost in the final qualifying round to Stephen Maguire. Oh, but that's a poor one. He, he stepped away and the hesitation suggested he wasn't comfortable. Yeah, that's right. He, he wasn't comfortable for some reason. He needed to play the cannon to the two reds, but all he had to do was hit the red on the right of those two reds and he was guaranteed to be on this red over the pocket. But he didn't like it. So another chance for Luca Brussel. And the reds are nicely spread. Now he could play the cannon to the two reds above the black spot. That's just as good. Again, he could play the cannon to the two reds. Doesn't need to, because he could still play for loose reds. Cover it. So he's in again with a great chance. Nothing goes, it's easy enough to play the cannon. Well, a red, a red just below the pink must go. And if we can just move the pink away from the reds, makes it easier to play for those two reds just to the right of the pink spot. Hard enough. And the six inches harder. Couldn't have played that any better. This red goes to the left corner, and that was a very, very good positional shot. Very good positional shot, stun run through to the cushion. But not safe yet. Just 41 points, the difference.
Another very good recovery shot. He's keeping this break going. 48 points the lead, so another red in the colour. Talk about opportune timing. And of course, Lee Hang sitting in his chair, stewing after missing the black off the spot. <laughs> Two snookers needed now. And if Brussel pots this red, it's definitely over. Six half centuries in the match thus far. Three from each player. But now Brazil responsible for the two highest breaks. An 81 in the opening frame and this. and every chance of making his first century of this semi-final. And he's a different man when the pressure's off. Switch to left-handed. Nicely played, and it's come just at the right time, this. Restore his confidence. Yes, Joe, and restore his lead. For the third time in this match, Luca Brussel hits the front. He led 1-0, 3-1, and now... 4-3. Two more fames required for a place in the final of the Evergrande China Championship. And to the two reds. Doesn't need to because he could still play for loose reds. Recover it. So he's in again with a great chance. Nothing goes, it's easy enough to play the cannon. Well, a red a red just below the pink must go. And if we can just move the pink away from the reds. Makes it easier to play for those two reds. 
just to the right of the pink spot. Not hard enough. And the six inches harder. couldn't have played that any better. This red goes to the left corner and that was a very very good positional shot. Another very good positional Good recovery. So, he's in again, with a great chance. Well, if there's nothing goes, it's easy enough to play the cannon. red just below the pink must go and if we can just move the pink away from the reds makes it easier to play for those two reds just to the right of the pink spot not hard enough and the six inches harder. He couldn't have played that any better. This red goes to the left corner and that was a very, very good positional shot. Another very good positional shot, stun run through to the cushion. Yeah. 